friends are you facing any issues while claiming gst refunds do you know how many types of refunds are available under the gst law and do you know that within how many days are you supposed to get gst refund what are the do's and don'ts of claiming refund friends if you are interested in knowing answers to all these questions please keep on watching this video Friends, I am CA Jayesh Gogri, Director, GST In Time Services Private Limited, Mumbai. Friends, in this short video, we are going to discuss various aspects of GST refund. There are certain typical issues which are normally faced by various people. If you don't know what is the time period in which you are supposed to claim refund, your refund claim may get rejected. So it's the two years period which has been granted for claiming refund from the relevant date. Again, this relevant date may be different for different people. For exporter of goods, it could be the date on which goods leave Indian shores. For service exports, it could be the date on which the supplier gets the remittance. In case of dimmed exports, again, the relevant date can be the date of furnishing the return. So it could be like different dates for different people. So one needs to be aware of this. The methodology to claim refund also plays a very vital role. The RFD 01A, which is the prescribed format, needs to be first furnished online. Thereafter, maybe there are certain various documents which needs to be furnished offline along with the printout of the RFD 01A. Friends, thereafter, there could be like various queries which could be raised by the department which needs to be resolved. There are many states like say for example Maharashtra wherein the departmental people visit the physical premises of the refund applicant before they grant refunds. Also in certain cases it may require certain amount of follow-up. So friends if you are aware of all these procedures then it becomes easier to claim refund. Also in certain cases it has been observed those people were not well versed with the portal and ice get connections so say for example if you are like furnish certain details in the gst network via gstr1 or 3b which has not uh, got transferred to ice get portal then your refund claims pertaining to exports uh, may get stuck so friends therefore you need to know uh, all these uh, are particular aspects so that your refunds claim can be processed smoothly friends there are like various types of refund claims and you would be surprised that there are almost 12 types of refund claims so firstly in case of your export of goods you may have two options one may be without payment of tax the other one could be with payment of tax similarly for exporting services also you have got these options similarly like for uh, SEZs again like you have the different different options for deemed exports, again, one needs to decide whether the supplier will claim refund or the recipient will claim refund. And accordingly, undertakings and documentation will have to be prepared. As far as the rates of taxes, which are on inputs, if they are more as compared to the rates of taxes applicable on output side, if that is the case, then it's the case of inverted tax structure and therefore, one needs to claim refund of those uh, taxes also however in certain cases like in case of builders that kind of uh, inverted tax structure is prohibited the refunds under inverted tax structure has been prohibited so one need to be aware of this particular kinds of refunds and the which are the exceptions in this kind of refunds sometimes one would have paid some excess payment of taxes some people would have paid the wrong types of taxes Say for example, instead of IGST, one would have paid CGST as well as SGST. Sometimes due to positive orders of appellate authorities, the pre-deposit which is necessary while filing the appellate, uh, appeal application, those pre-deposits also needs to be refunded. So these are like another set of refunds which are there. Then like there are certain foreign tourists which visit to India on a legitimate visa then in such cases those tourists also get refund qua the goods which they purchase in india 
there could be various embassies consulates the people from united nations or multilateral financial institutions they are also entitled to claim refund so once they are, uh, you are aware that these are the kinds of refunds then you may like to know more about that and you can proceed ahead friends normally people ask me various time uh, various times that is it easy to claim refund friends what would be your answer many of you may say no it's very difficult to claim really refund uh, let me tell you friends that if you know the real methodology and the correct approach to claim refund mind well it's not at all difficult it's very proper easy kind of a process and therefore we need to know do's and don'ts of claiming refunds and if you know this do's and don'ts then you may get the refund claims within the least possible period which can be like within a couple of months friends then you will be interested in knowing what are the do's and don'ts of this refund procedures first of all you need to ensure that your gstr1 and gstr3 b gets properly filed so your exports which are on payment of tax needs to be properly captured in GSTR 1 table 6 or any kinds of other exports also needs to be properly captured. Similarly, whatever if you are exporting on payment of tax, the tax payment which needs to be discharged, which is via GSTR 3B, that should be properly discharged. Even if there is a shortfall of say for example 10 rupees, your entire refund claim which could be of crores can be stuck. Similarly, if you know that like there are certain defects which have been pointed out by the authorities and if you are able to cure those defects, then it's easy to get refund. If you provide your details uh, in a proper manner to the authorities, then also like your refunds would be easily credited to your bank account. Similarly, there are certain don'ts which you need to be aware of. There is a normally a principle of unjust enrichment which is prohibited so a person cannot be benefited twice from a particular tax so it cannot be a case where like you are collecting tax also and you are collecting refund also from the government so that kind of dual advantage is not supposed to be uh, procured and in certain cases there could be certain exceptions but you need to prove in most of the cases that you have not been unduly enriched by this uh, dual collection similarly you need to be also mindful while claiming the refund at times it may be wiser to pay tax on exports and claim refunds at certain points in time it may be advisable not to pay taxes on exports and claim refund of itc claims so if you are aware that what are the nuances of different types of claims and what are the methodologies probably you will be able to make right decision and that's how like you will be actualize your will be actualizing your money in a timely manner at the same time friends you must be aware that if you are claiming drawback you cannot claim refund for input tax credit so you cannot make dual claims in certain cases friends this was just a small video on this refund aspects if you are really interested in knowing much more about this aspect or any other aspect on gst please do subscribe to our channel and please do write to us what sort of videos you are more interested in so that we can provide such informative videos thank you